When I was on placement in my third year, I had an email from all the lecturers talking about the different studies they wanted to go into. And I saw Andy's it's focusing on dads, and I thought that's, I've not really seen that before, dad's perspective of a birth trauma. So I thought I want to do that one. We found that it's generating a lot of discussion and making people become more aware of what's actually happened to them and how they can help others and how they can seek help themselves. So even already before we know the findings, I think it's had a lot of impact on people. It's really exciting. I didn't think it's going to sound awful that research could be this exciting and it could mean so much. I never thought I'd go down a research route, but this has definitely made me feel like this is something I could do in the future. That I'm, I was thinking mainly clinical, but now I'm thinking there's so much more that I could do and research is a lot more exciting than I ever thought it could be. There's been a, a little bit of work recently uh, that's been looking at father's uh, mental health in terms of postnatal depression, but it's not been much work done in a more controversial area of birth trauma. Now we know that when a mother goes through a traumatic birth, whether that be an unexpected caesarean through to full potential loss of life, uh, we know that some mums get limited support um, through ongoing support, through perhaps the health visits and what have you. But what we do know anecdotally is that dads are getting absolutely no support at all. Now, if you can imagine a father being in a birthing room, all of a sudden his wife is now in serious trouble, um, potentially losing her life or the loss of the baby. And the father say, doesn't know what to do. He's, he's absolutely at a loss. Little information. Now, whilst we can't expect the emergency services to be directed towards him, obviously not. That'd be silly. But what is missing here is just a little bit of information and then particularly the support afterwards because the trauma that's been experienced there, if it's not dealt with properly, the potential for developing PTSD is enormous.